And sometimes we even Zoom with each other and put on like masks and listen to like, uh, um, like meditation music. And like, like, we do that all the time. And we also have our rave spas on our Instagrams where it's more like party. Uh, and we also do the spa at the same time. A spa is like the perfect after party. Yeah. When you've been yeah. to a club, like, don't get us wrong. We, we miss the club. <laughs> we're not done with the club, even though we're singing about that we're done with the club. Uh, but we just love spying as well. And we think it's the perfect combination. Mm -hmm. Hi, we are Icona Pop. And you're listening to the hottest thing on campus. Radio Heatwave. Radio Heatwave. Heatwave. This really means a lot to me to be here. And I would like to take this opportunity to get to know you guys better and just to connect, yeah. A few years ago when I was growing up with Icona Pop, if I say so myself, um, it had a lot of uh, fun party vibe to it. And it's still evolving to punk and soul and so much more. But it always has a signature Icona Pop sound to it. And is it a conscious decision on both of your parts to keep on changing the genre and switching things up? Or does it just happen naturally? I think we we constantly, of course, want to challenge ourselves. Like, we don't want to do an exact copy of the song that we just released. And we also get inspired by different things. So I think it's very natural that our sound keeps evolving and, and taking different um, directions, maybe. But I also think that we have a core Mm -hmm. uh, so we try out different things and we might be super inspired by a thing but still like the core of Icona Pop is me and I know mm -hmm. and, um, and maybe the way we sing our choruses and the way we come up with our melody language so I think that's why you can still hear that it's Icona Pop even though we feel so free to just try whatever we want to and call it our pop music, you know? I, I really love that you said the core of Icona Pop is Icona Pop because no matter no matter what music you guys release, it's always Icona Pop, you know? Because mm. there's been a lot of different sounds you guys have released. And most recently, you released Spa featuring Sophie Tucker, which is a really refreshing sound. I would say it's a departure from what you guys have been releasing. So what was the thought process when coming up with that song? I think we've been huge fans of Sophie Tucker for many years. Mm -hmm. And we actually bumped into each other in New York in an elevator. And we were like talking about like, oh, we should do something together because they love our music and we love their music and they're a duo and we're a duo. I think like that could be a cool combination. Uh, and so uh, we met up like one month after and sat down in the studio and and uh, Tucker and ha had this cool track that he started to do and uh, everyone was vibing on it. And suddenly like we were trying to just write something cool over it. And we were also talking about touring and, and what we love is going to spa. And that's something we always do on tours to like come down yeah. after shows. So we kind of started to write a song about spa. If not for music, what would you guys be doing? Wow, it's so, you know what? It's so hard like to even think about because music is our life. Like mm. I cannot, but I know before when, when I mean, when we were kids, um, you, I know, said that you wanted to be an astronaut. Yeah. <laughs> and I always wanted to work with like wildlife and animals. Mm. Maybe be lit in the jungle and fight for the animals so maybe we'll so do that we after have, after uh, yeah when we're 80 years old we can do that <laughs> maybe you can when do we're it done with touring you could do it now while being musicians that'll be fun we'll yeah i think so, so too true. let's we'll do a concert it. in space and then we move our studio up into the wilderness, into yes. the wilderness. Yeah. absolutely <laughs> in the jungle <laughs> You could feature like all the animals. It would be like the Lion King all over again. Oh my it's God, so what a dream. <laughs> it would be really cute. <laughs> so, 
So, the music video for Feels In My Body premiered in August and can I just say, I really love the music video. I love the song. I was just listening it, listening to it in the shower. Um, the, vis- the visuals of the music video were really stunning and everything from the location to the wardrobe was amazing. So, how do you come up with the concepts behind all your music videos? It's so different. I feel like it really... Usually when we are going to release a song and when we write a song, it's almost like you start seeing like, oh my God, like when you write it even in the studio, you're like, oh my God, we could do a video like this. Mm. Or at least you get a feeling like, I feel like we should be in an environment that is really stiff and then we are going to go crazy in that environment. And, uh, and then we also have it amazing uh, uh, team you know that can make our dreams come true so it's usually very fun and creative and we usually go out very big like we're bad at thinking like practical and small and like what's yeah. doable we go out like let's uh, move into space and let's and then our amazing team say that's not possible but maybe we can make it look at like it like this you know so and it's it was fun. also very cool to, like, with everything shut down, we could also, like, borrow this museum that's usually super crowded and how we could, like, make all of this happen during a pandemic. That's, that was so, so cool. And it was fun. But we were very involved with everything from styling yeah. to how we wanted things to look like. And, uh, and we usually are very involved. So, yeah, and it's super fun. We're moving on to the quick fire question round. So I'm going to ask you guys a series of 10 questions and you guys will answer as fast as you can without thinking, okay? Hmm? Yep. Okay, first question. Stay in or night out? Night out. Night out. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Coffee. Cats or dogs? Dogs. dogs. Your favorite Starbucks order? Uh, uh, Americano. Americano. <laughs> Do you, do you guys have the same answer for everything so far? I guess so. Uh, morning or night? Uh, night. Morning. Oh, different. Favorite day of the week? Oh, <laughs> Saturday. Uh, Friday. Mm. Sneakers or heels? Heels. Sneakers. Biggest pet peeve. Uh, when I wake up in the morning and there's no coffee and I have to go to the store and buy coffee and I thought that I had coffee. That's my biggest pet peeve. Hmm, what's mine? Uh, I guess like... When someone's been eating your sweet potatoes. <laughs> That's Ooh, your biggest pet peeve. I can I start know. to cry. She can start no one to touches cry. my sweet potato. No. Uh, worst pickup line you've ever heard? I think that's been when someone tries to do that when they push you down a little to get your attention. Oh. Um, like, uh, like, oh my god, that's a weird jacket. And I'm like, well, if well, you don't look at it. <laughs> that that's gonna work. It's not. Uh, you know, it's like such a weird tactique and the worst part is that I've heard that it's working but when someone is like, oh, you know what, you're weird and that's supposed to get me like, what do you mean, what do you mean with weird? But I'm just like, I don't want to be your friend even. Right? Yeah, I don't know. But, but I, I can't remember anything actually when it comes to someone picking me up. It's been a long so, Yeah. I have no. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Could you guys teach me some um, Swedish? Jag elskar. Jag elskar. Ikona pop. Ikona pop. What is it? <laughs> Thank you. I love Ikona pop. Oh, wow, wow. Well, it's true. Jag elskar. Missy love Ikona pop. pop. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Thank you so much. This has been so fun. It's really a dream come true. Hi, we are Icona Pop, and you're listening to the hottest thing on campus, Radio Heatwave.